Right, here goes part two. Day two, I'm back with um, doing this picture. Now, I think I've sussed out for, I can get three times as close, but it doesn't look like it's three times close, does it? And now, uh, but well, I went up town this morning and um, and I had to go to the post office. And now I'd asked a while back if they could save me some. And today they did. They had saved me some and they'd given, given, gave me them. And what they'd saved me was, so I'm just trying to sort out something. And what they gave me, whoops, sorry if I make thing, was a load of these. They're what they use for their stamps. But what I've been doing is, because they gave me a whole load and I have been um, basically taking off the external bit and I'm left with release paper. And this was free and they, you know, they just bin that and recycle it. But you see, if I take off these, no, I'll leave that one on. No, I won't, I'll take that one off. So here, put that side down and it's a release paper. So, for those who want to get something, some release papers free, go and ask at your local post office for the backing bits to their to their things. I mean, look at that. That's perfect, isn't it? And what you can do is, if you wanted to, you could, you know, cut them in half, and you're left with a sort of quite a good, good size to do. So you can either use them as is or cut them down and make more. But for freebies, well, there is something for some company to get into, into. There. And if they do, they heard it from me first and that they need to get in touch with me <laughs> and give me a percentage or give me some money for it, for the idea. But can you imagine what a good com what a good job that would be? A good um, business proposition. The amount of um, of you know post offices. Now they'd have to pay to get rid of this because it's sort of even though it's recycling, they'd still have to pay because they're a company, they're a business. So they could give you all of their do a deal that they get. You know, they give you a whole, all of these, which will encourage them with their recycling. And that'll, that'll improve their company's sort of, you know, greenness because they recycle. And it gives the company a business to supply these to, say, other diamond artists um, or anybody else that needs to use release papers. And it might save the need for printing so much more you know making so many more of these but well there's an idea for somebody take it to the dragon's den but remember where you got it from the idea right while i was up town whoops i need one of those back yes because that's the size of the normal one so you know, it's a little bit longer, but it's narrower. And some use half of that. But there's, there's many ideas you can do. Right, let's put that back up. Right, let's get back on this. Look how much was done yesterday. And after I stopped filming, I did a load more. Right, and I also got today some proper clips because these ones, even those, these came with the um, easel. They are 
not very dye friendly and I haven't been able to find my brayer yet but there again I have been tidying up everywhere and if it's and I think it's downstairs and if it's downstairs god help us all because downstairs is a nightmare these Yorkshire trading £1.29 for a pack of four not bad eh I don't need the other two just yet and what else have I been doing today? I've been doing, <clears throat> I went to onto Admore Zest's website and I downloaded the um, the sticker sheets, the freebies that they, they give you they, um, for my spare drills boxes, which I'm doing. So this morning, I've still got loads to do, but this morning I've been cutting out all these and yes they're all higgledy piggledy and i'm gonna have such fun sorting them all out but at least it's a job half done bearing in mind that this will just be for my squares i'm gonna have to download or just reprint another batch of these and cut them all out for my rounds and possibly another batch for my heaven and earths spares because they won't all fit in the, the cup the thing that they are so i have all that to look forward to now i don't think i need to yes i might need to actually i'm going to need to prime my god help us all my so i've got this thingamajig the camera in a closer but it's not using all its legs to stand up on it's sort of they're not opened out completely so i could knock them and also they're in the way of my drills but well right so we go oh problem is this pen from amazon it keeps i've noticed that this is what happens look how easy that comes out Hmm. If it gets too strong or whatnot, it's going to take it out, isn't it? Ugh. I'll have to see how that goes. Now I'm going to do it like this. There we go. Right, I think I've got half a. What a doofus. Right, that'll have to do. Right, I have found it was in that. Oh, well, there goes my placer. Um, sorry, but my boob is moving the camera. Right, yeah. So there goes my place of falling out. Not quite impressed. I don't quite know how to stick that in and keep it to keep it in. Half of me thinks I might just have to keep this permanently in and, and super glue it in place. Oh, well. So for now, I'll take it out and put it on the side. I've primed up my other pen which I found that's quite stiff and that one not really so I don't quite know what right so this is quite a, hmm I think I might just load this one up as well and um see whether this one works right what colors are we going to go on to 
I'm going to pull that back. Um, and I want to put... I need one. There we go. We'll use that. Check it's the shiny side down. Right, I'm going to start over here, I think. Oh, mind you, I could do the use, couldn't I? Let's do the use. I'm going to have to keep reaching across. My diamonds are here. You. There they are. A blue. Might help straighten up some of these. Now, I put them back in the, dr in the tray like that so i know which color i've been using oops there's a purple I don't want a purple i could do it with a stopper there might have to create one right here we go use and they're those sideways greater than more thans. There's a U. There's a U. Oh, wow. The same joy as it was yesterday. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get some done today. Because after I went up town... This morning, oh, came back and I was just exhausted. Oh dear, come on. Silly me, I forgot to prime this bit of... I forgot to prime it, didn't I? You... Oh, I feel actually quite terrible today. I'm so tired. But I always forget like this after I've been kicking around a lot of dust in the house. Oh, come on. Seeing a few sixes I've missed. Right. Let's just go and do these and an N. There'll always be a few. I miss using this pen actually. Come on. Oh. Yes, it certainly is. Um. Yes, you've got to um, get, get used to it, haven't you? And I'm trying not to pull off the glue dot. See, some of these drills are, um, I mean, they're not bad, but I have had better, shall we say. Some of these drills just seem to be not fitting in the square snug, snugly. But, whoops, I just pulled up a six. Oh, for God's sakes. So, puts in. A U and takes out a six. Good shot. Oh, God. 
Am I going to have to go back to wax and filling that up every 10 seconds? more like it. I think this one's just got used to it. Oh, I could do with my fan being on again. I keep having these senior moments and it's not pleasant. And I think that's what another reason why I feel all bleh. Your hormones all playing a merry dance <sighs> no, no, it's like a car Wait. the oil the petrol's running out the oil hasn't had a filter change for i don't know many decades and your body works a bit rusty and so, of course, it's not conducive to, um, and the battery's definitely flat. And it's not conducive to a fully functioning beastie. But, well. Oh, I think I'm going to have an early night tonight. Desperate to know where my paintings are going to turn up. Not that I can do them until this one's done, really. I mean, in the past, I used to start. I mean, I, I've got about another three that are partially done. But I really want to finish this one off because I've had it now for this would be the second year. Think. Yeah, because you can really scrap the majority of last year. I mean, I did, I did a fair bit last year. I think I did quite that much. But um, yes, but then of course I broke my ankle and my other foot, so I didn't get much done. Oh dear. What a load of rain we had yesterday. Torrential. And then today we had sun, but the wind was chilly. But well. I keep thinking I should um, use Instagram and, and the, st you know, and Twitter. Join the Twitterverse or whatever it is. But... To be honest, that's doing too much. I cannot, I cannot concentrate too much at a time. My mind goes blank and stops. It's like does not compute. Computer say no. I know I should, but no. I don't really use it for my business either. And yes, I should, but I'm quite happy with the way how things are at the minute. You know, I get sales and they just sort of trundle on in. You know, not very thick or fast. Sometimes it does, but it's manageable and I'm happy with what I get from that. And so, you know, I don't really want to encourage, that <laughs> sounds crazy, doesn't it? But I don't want to encourage too much because I wouldn't be able to continue. 
I did have a little shop at one point, but it got too much and I went on system overload and then crashed and burnt, head went bang and I am um, slowly, very slowly recovering from that, but it's been ongoing. Mental health issues. Yeah, basically had them all my life. And sometimes you just go fizzle. And you just can't do a thing. Overwhelm mode and, and shut down mode. Yeah, but well... Oh dear, so technically I'm marked as disabled. Um, of a sort. But working for yourself, it gives you something to do. It makes you feel as if you're still part of the human race, which is great for your sanity. And um, and also you can stop and start as to when you need to. Because I ha I give my my people um like a oh like a seven day turnaround, and that allows me to take a day off or so when I cannot do anything, which I have been taking advantage of I didn't at first I used to really you know I used to force myself and do the work whether I felt like it or not or whether I could it just took me longer so something which would take like five ten minutes took actually me an hour and then I'd have payback for it as in the next morning I couldn't do anything or it sometimes hit in the afternoon and I couldn't do anything. Oh, but Desi's down by my feet. If she knocks the, the tripod, it's her on his scarf. Yeah, poor Jay. I keep yawning. Oh, I haven't set the timer. I suppose I should, because if I don't, this could go on. Um, where is it? 15, 20, 30, there we go. You can hear it loud. Off goes the old party. Slightly better angle this time. At least you don't get to see me in my horrible noggin. Oh, I found a few more ends. Oh dear, I think I must have to visit the optician soon. Because... Right, let's pull my glasses down my nose a bit more. Problem is, when you yawn, your eyes sort of water up a bit, and then the vision goes. Now I'm getting my hand on there quite a bit, so to counteract that, I'm going to oops, not my piece. One. I'm going to put a piece there, that's what I tend to do when I end up needing to rest my hand on something. That's better. Yes, some of these letters are 
very small, they're lowercase, so a little bit, I mean they're clear enough to see, but because they're small, you sort of have to do a double take at them, and I don't think that's a G, is it? No, sometimes the U's look a bit like G's. But that could just be my eyesight. But probably is just my eyesight. My eyesight is terrible. I have a cataract in my left eye. I've had it since birth. And it's crazy thing is, they, they, the opticians say, oh, do you want us to deal with that? And I keep saying, no, nope, it's all right. Oh, it's all right, thanks. And then they ask me why, and it's like, well, I've lived with it for so for this long already. I've got kind of used to it. I know how to look and sort of um to peer. Oh, this is frustrating to peer around. But um, so it's so I don't really want to deal with it because also as I've been told and that is that the surgery if you've got like a congenital one the chances are it's going to come back yes it might take a while to come back but it's more likely to come back and so I think well I've got used to it now I'm not going through all that again and then retraining my eyesight just when it thinks, oh, we've got used to having 20-20 vision again. You know, well, again, I've never had 20-20 vision. So um, I'm definitely not going to um, have to retrain my eyesight again after having it so good. And I'd sooner not know how good it... And that sounds crazy, but I'd sooner not know how good it is to have an eyesight that I'll, um, you know that I don't really need glasses for but the only problem is is that they would only do the eye which has the problem which if I do say so is a little um, excuse the pun short-sighted of them but well dear half of these are all a bit squiffy yeah, this is where you see how sometimes the drills are not so good. Now, I know I could have um, shot of the trashy ones. I mean, I'm, I am getting shot of the really trashy ones. But a lot, ones with sort of slightly curved or bobbly end, I'm kind of still using those. Um, because if I was to try and take them away a i'd have to buy a whole load more diamonds and um and with all what i've done so far i don't want to have to do that because they might not match up and not only that is my theory is it's all very well but i mean you're seeing all the flaws because there's a light pad underneath it but when it is in a frame and on the wall at a bit of a distance you are not going to notice it and I mean it you won't notice it nobody else will oh, well I'm already starting to get a bit of a ache in my leg feeling a bit ugh. I've got a whole load of ping meals I'd sooner cook but my downstairs is in such a state it's um really it's hard to get to the kitchen because I have a kitchen sitting room it's all combined and it's so small because it's saying uh, now that one's a trash drill 
but it's in such a state. Um, that one is a trash gel. Well, it's two stuck together, but one's trash. Yeah, see? So, see, I do take out some trashy bits. But, yeah, so my sitting room is in an absolute state of chaos. I've got to call up the um, community store or whatever it's called um, to come and pick up my mattress and my mattress topper. That's the thing. Because they're still usable. And then at least that's the floor space cleared for a bit. And then I can, I'm dealing with the boxes of recycling. Then I've got to call up the charity shop to come and collect the bits that I've got ready to donate to those. And then I've got a couple of bags to take round to the local playgroup nursery with some sort of arty crafty bits and bobs and some little extra of those diamond boats you know that you you get given three million in a pack and um which they could use for painting finger painting or something or glue or something and um yeah, so I've got that. And then we've got a local scrap store. Oh, I know the people too. Whoops, I think I put that. Oh, no. And then I shall... Um, I shall take down some stuff, some bits for them. Yeah. I'm slowly going through all my sort of old craft... Because I had a um, fabric and craft shop. And so I'm getting shot of certain bits. Yeah, I've got to revamp my fabric on Etsy. Because I've got some old fabrics that I really do need to get shot of. But well. Oh, I need that phone on. I know what I'll do. I'll have some water. Oh, I do need some more. Right. Let's see. going to go down this line here and create a line there <laughs> hmm. hopefully I'll get a chance to do another colour that's the thing with these big paintings. Now, anybody in the comments below, just remind me, with a double-sided taped canvas, which way am I to roll it? I know with poured glue, it doesn't really matter as much. But, I certainly would like to know which way it is. I used to know it all. Flipping neck. And I used to know the um, conversion rates for squares and circles. To changing from a cross stitch pattern into a heaven and earth, say, you know, to diamond art painting. I mean, I kind of right remember now because I heard it the other day, 
and it recapped, you know. But up to that point, I was like, oh, completely forgotten that. Not point, not point two five times it by to get the squares, and not point two eight, if I remember rightly, to get the circles, the rounds. But yeah, don't really want to do a rounds for a heaven and earth. Not unless they did. I think they should do like a black backed canvas with like white grid lines. So, because black will hide a multitude of sins, you know, even if it's a light colour, I don't think black would be that bad. No on certain pictures because it'll just look like the bits in between, you know, the shaded parts. <clears throat> uh, but well. Oh, my hip. Oh. Creaking. Oh, dear. But yeah. Well, I uploaded yesterday's one uh, video clip to my Carpe Diem Does Diamond Painting. Keep toying up with whether to add the word badly after it. <laughs> but well. Now, do you prefer me waffling on a load of whatever or... Like in AMS, oh God, what is it? No, not MNS. That's completely different. Uh, ASMR, I think that's the one. You know, no talking, just sounds and seeing the visual. Just hearing the clock. <laughs> tick, 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 tick. A lot of this. Oh dear. Just glad when I get to the end of this row, because then what I'm going to do is when I move it up, I'm going to um, I will. Uh, what's it called? Release paper it up. Because then it kind of, that's the thing about it, is, um, see, I don't mind doing it all over the shop like this, but it does take a little while before you sort of see any kind of progress from it. Yeah, so I think the diamond art paintings take about seven to ten business days. So we've got to forget the weekends, which is a shame. But on that note, it should come next week. Both of those. And then the week after, possibly, for the eternal, no, Dreamer Designs one. Hmm. It's... Yeah. I used to work flat, you know, with the pit with the pit painting just on a flat surface. But God it did my neck and my back in. And somebody suggested, you know, use an easel. And I looked at all the easels there were and I thought, flippity flip. That's a small easel for the price. Ridiculous, I'm not spending that on an easel. Because I'm a bit of a tight escape. <laughs> on certain things, that is. And at the time, I hadn't been budgeting or saving any money or anything like that. So it was. I'm trying to find it from somewhere. And um, then I saw the works. Or, or somebody, I think somebody on a diamond painting forum mentioned it. And so I went along to look at the works one. And there it was, this massive one for 15 quid. 
that's really I would say a very good one massive size what size is it a1 I don't know there's an a3 what not Ujima flip light pad is that a G no it's a U back to that G let's just double check there is no there are no G's let's get my English correct Mrs W will be turning in a grave at my grammar no I've only got a little D a little M a little N and a little O I think that's all yes Okay, I'm nearly come to the end of this tray again. Oh dear. Now some of these trays are all very well, but it's like the gaps in between. The ridges aren't high enough to properly secure them when you twist them over. And because of the inconsistency of some of these drills, they have a tendency to um, be too small. Some are actually too big to fit in the grooves. And so a lot of the time they don't turn to the way that I would like them to. But, well, and then when you shake them, they'll fall out the end. <laughs> bit of a moaning myrtle today, aren't I? Right, let's go down this line just to... I need some more. I'm more scared of doing that because they bounce so much that I'm scared that they're just going to jiggle right out of the pot. Whoops, there goes my head on the old... my noggin on the old tripod. And if you're coming in from this angle, sometimes putting a, a drill next to one that's already there, you end up with a bit of a wide berth. So you have to really go down from above. And at certain angles, it's not possible. And that one. That one. That one. Try not to say that one for each one. All right, let's just. There we go. I'll get something else to cover that. zebra printer which is like the one which royal mail recommend and um yep is all i can say to that because that means because i have a business sort of um a business click and drop no oh god what's it it is click and drop, I think. Is it click and drop? Yes. Click and click. No, click and drop. Drop and drop and... Oh, I can't remember which one it is. But because I have that kind of an account, you can register for um free mail supplies. Um, one of the mail supplies is the 4x6... Um, labels to do my postage so i just managed to remember my password eventually 
anything else login details and i ordered some and they came so i've got, now got five rolls so every time i um i used to bin them i used to bin those those sheets those release papers at the back but every time i print something now i receive them so what i might do is i might at some stage list a few on my um on my Etsy maybe as soon as I get them and just help towards my business a bit. But I don't know. Wouldn't be much. But it'd have to cover Etsy glim fees. Well, a couple of quid. I don't know, I'd have to think about it. I'll do freebies of them. But you see, I don't really go through that many. such so I couldn't do like 50 too many times <laughs> I suppose what I could do is just um I suppose what I could do is just save up those and then at the end of the month I could then what's the word um them up and just people pay the postage for yes that's what I might do just got to remember to save them I mean I'm doing pretty well but the other so the other last week after I've just decided that I was going to start saving them I had a whole row of about 16 come off of my um, printer and I um, just went force of habit and scrunched them up. And I was like, no! And of course, they can't really be unscrunched. Right, have I done it? Oh, no, missed you. Bum, bum, bum. Right. Oh, no, there's another one. This is where it is. I'm seeing them all now. It's crazy, isn't it? Usually you've packed everything away and then you see them and you go, oh, flip. But I resign myself to the end of each section. I'm always going through that one. Right, that's that. And if it isn't, it isn't. Alright, what number was I going to do now? I was going to do six, wasn't I? Yes, I was. I was going to do six. Whoops, I knocked it. Sorry. I think that thing's probably going to go off any minute. Right, let's see. Where's six? There it is. It's one, five, eight. Oh, blast. And there it is. One, five, eight, all over me and all over the floor. Eek. I'm going to fill that up as well at some point. Right. Let's start at the bottom. Six. I'd already started doing some of these the other day, I think. Oh, I hate it when you get it on crooked and then and it's mainly because one of them else is crooked and you have to straighten them up. I hate straightening them up. That's why I prefer it when you've got a tight 
drill bed then it's easier to straighten them up because you just push one in and it straightens them all up one's next door to it oh dear no right so it's over here now I'm not sure if this is any better. I'll soon find out whether it's any better uh, later on when I look through to see how it's doing. I did order one of those desktop screw-in job type phone holders. But I don't know. Well, I'll put it in the basket, shall we say. I need to have a think a bit more. The thing is, though, you see lots of um, diamond painters and everything else who get their cameras so close up and flat. But I just don't get it. How do they do that without it getting in the way? Because when you look at it, it's right above everything. And you're there thinking, how are they managing to to drill? You know. I'm just not very tech savvy anymore. God, at one point I could tune in. The video player, yes, back in the days, VHS, I do remember Betamax, but luckily we didn't have one. I think it's because we got given a, um, a VHS one. And, um, yeah, and then, then we had CDs and DVDs and they were the things. God, I remember them coming out and then being so much we were all in awe of it because up to that point we had cassettes you know and the good old pencil to rewind the cassette when when the the tape had sort of you know come out of its sockets kids nowadays don't know what a cassette and a pencil have in common quite a good pub quiz question that one but well, and then, oh, oh dear. Yeah, well, I'll just do a little bit more because I can. And um, yes, yeah, so it's, um, yeah, I could do all that. And DOS, I could do limited DOS, worked out IRQs. The forerunner to Messenger and all that. That was a killer. But once you did it once, you set it up a bit better. But you only had verbal. It was more like over the phone. And we had dial-up internet connection. So we had that. And you couldn't use your phone landline because it was connected. And it seemed to be AOL. America Online was the sort of the main internet service provider that there was. And literally, you know, that was like the 80s, late 70s, 80s, 80s, everything went with a bang. Everything kicked off. We had everything suddenly come on. Technology just leaped and leaped big time. And now I just can't keep up. And it's sort of, you know, it isn't new. Well, it is new, but it's, things aren't new, as they say. But, yeah, it's quite weird, really. I definitely grew up in the best time, I think, the 80s. God, the music, the hair, the fashion, oh my word. But the music, UK was really a forerunner there. 
Yeah, very good. And with everything happening in the world as well. Yeah. 80s, the miners' strikes, Thatcher. Oh, God. The marches and the protests. Yeah. Things when apartheid was still in Africa. Yeah, all kinds of craziness. Oh, well, I'm just going to do all these sixes, I've decided. So even though the, the TikTok thing has stopped, I'm going to... Oh dear, I'm determined to finish these sixes. But having said that, I don't really need to finish them on camera, do I? It doesn't seem like I've done that much at all, really. It's starting, you know, starting up. You have to get into the swing of things. You know, check your drill pens, check you've got all the, you know, loaded boats and, you know, you've got the right pots, they're all filled up and everything else. But yes. So my boxes, yes, they arrived from Hobbycraft. So I've got my boxes. Um, I'm doing those labels. Now I've ordered, haha. <laughs> This is me, Cheatsburg. I have ordered from Ryman's a pack of five, sort of those index record cards, the six by four ones, because I'm going to cut them in half. So there'll be three by two, and they're going to be my dividers. So instead of paying 20 quid or whatever it is to have, you know, one batch, I'm doing that. So that's 500. So that's a thousand cards I'll get, which will do both my rounds and my squares. And yes, so I'm quite pleased with that but I'm waiting for those to come the baggies oh my god I wanted those heavy duty real ones they don't do them in England go figure England seems to be void of them so the only options are wait for it for a thousand of them from America 33 pound just on little baggies. And then I thought, right, I'll look on AliExpress and see what they come up with. And, um, well, they're about £29. But, I mean, if you're going to, if you're looking at it like that, I, I'd then get it from America, I would. But, no, so I'm having to rethink that one and see where I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do. I do have a box, which I was under the impression they were the thick ones because I followed the link that um, was on Rebecca's site, not Rachel's, Rebecca's site. And, um, and they were to the standard ones, so I've got a box full of... Um, a thousand normal ones, the you know the flimsier ones. So um, they're not too flimsy, but you definitely need a bit of card in them, and I really didn't want to do the card bit. So um, I mean I can still use them. See, I'd use them for when I'm bagging up and I've got spares. So I tend to put those in baggies if I if there isn't like sometimes I'll put them in a, in containers alongside of the um. The colour that I've got, you know, that they are. 
oh look at that i need one more and i've got none left in the thing and it's done so i'll leave it at that and that's really going to bug your ocd isn't it maybe i should find it what is it it's number 158 154 157 158 okay for those of you out there who now because i need to reprime my glue dot there we go right done right there we go folks so i shall leave the waffle sort out my pens ready for tomorrow and we'll go from there but it's coming along let's see what it's like with the light off hmm i really should do that bit there <laughs> It's like he's got a boil and I should finish those off. So tomorrow I, or later on tonight, I should do some of this. You never know. I might even finish this bit off and then we can start on that bit tomorrow. I really wish I knew where my brayer was. I could get my rolling pin, but it, mm, it's not quite the same. because It's a wooden one, so it'll mark it and I use that for my pastry. Don't particularly want to have strange looking pastry. Right, and also I don't, yeah, oh God, no. Any rate, right, on that note, it is a, good golly, it's an hour one. Bye-bye then, bye-bye, see you tomorrow. Like, comment and subscribe, please, thank you.